Hey, what's up, guys? Evan Aldo here. So, been a crazy, crazy kind of day uh, with the Amazon news and everything. Um, you know, the rumor is they're going to accept payments, and it seems like it's going to happen, um, you know, even though they denied it at some point. So, that's very, very, very bullish news. And that kind of, you know, market, market cipher's kind of been showing that, you know, with, uh, I talked about this the other day to reaffirm, we still have a uh, green dot in the weekly. We have a, uh, obviously, um, wouldn't take a genius to know we have a green dot in the six day as well. And uh, even the, the five day. So you really want to be looking um, primarily for longs right now. So I'll show you the latest what I've been doing. Um, kind of got the notification of VWAP. Uh, I, I did uh, take a little bit of a long full disclosure uh, this morning, made a little bit off of it, kind of a scalp long up to here or whatever. Not that early. Where was I? And when I woke up at seven, I had a FOMO in right here. And then, uh, took profits and I was like, ah, it looks like it's going down I'll get out of this. Um, but, um, I'm back in from about here, um, took a little bit of profits, um, up here and I'm just letting it ride. Um, we'll see what happens. If you're not in a position right now, no financial advice or anything, but I would wait a little bit. We do seem to be again, kind of heated. Maybe, um, wait till at least we have probably a green dot in the 15 minute. Um, that wouldn't be a bad place. Let's look at the, uh, the lower time frames a little bit here. Four minute printing a green dot, maybe not the worst place for getting the uh, the bounce off of here. That's definitely a good possibility. Um, it's a bullish case. And then um, if we lose this level, most likely we'll might get a nice bounce off of here. I mean, anything could happen, um, obviously. So don't get too, um, too FOMO'd into a, a long position, but it's it's looking really bullish. Um, let's look at the four hour. Um, yeah, going up there. So I think we have time. I think we have definitely some time before we really... Uh, top out here the only thing is you know it depends how far this goes we could um go up higher or you know this could be it so this this possible that was the top for the time being um so it, be careful <laughs> be careful it really it really depends here but i'm i'm you know with good um good risk management good uh trading good good risk management you'll be fine um i'll make another that's the next video i gotta do good risk management but uh yeah, I, look, I like how it looks. Yeah, I like how it looks in terms of long positions. Looks like this is coming up on two hour. Everything looks pretty, pretty good to me. Like, don't be looking to short unless you're really, 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 really confident right now. Uh, because, yeah, I mean, even it looks like you know, I'm trying to. I'm debating whether I want to add to my position right here. Uh, uh, that's tough. That's tough. Tough decision right now. Tough decision right now. Um, so that's Bitcoin. ETH is basically the same exact thing. I was looking at this. I mean, it really looks like we're going to come through this. Look at the four hour, look at that VWAP coming up. I mean, it seems like there's a possibility, you know, that could have been the top. We could go down um, with the money flow, but you know, I, yeah, I'm optimistic. Obviously, there's no way to really know exactly what's going to happen. Uh, we just got to hedge our bets in the right way. So, um, so yeah. Um, yeah, basically the same exact thing. Up, up, um, let's look at the 15. Yeah, maybe wait, you know, wait till you get a green dot, maybe. I mean, we're hitting a, a support level. It's, um, let's look at the one minute, actually. I want to see the type of, not the one second. Um, you know, one minute, I want to see kind of the reaction off of that level. We're both hitting a level of support. ETH and Bitcoin, wow, they're just really, really um, been following one another lately. They're really in that for level. So yeah, you know. That might not be the worst place. Might not be the worst place if you went in right, right there. Um, that's pretty much all I got to say, guys. Um, it's looking bullish. It's looking like the outcome I've been talking about yesterday, coming back to all-time highs and then playing out for the uh, the real all-time high by December. I feel like um, in terms of fear, you know, a lot of people got wrecked when they FOMO'd in at 60K. A lot of them already gave up on it because they thought it was going to be three years, and now they're thinking as soon as it goes back up to all-time highs, it's going to crash again. So, I mean, there's still enough fear. There's still enough fear in the market for you to go long and uh, not enough uh, FOMO for you to really go short yet. That's my two cents on this. So, um, hope you have a good one, guys. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please like, please subscribe, and check out my affiliate links below. Um, one's a great course I took to learn to trade if this seems too complicated for you. Um, and if you want to get my market cipher, uh, that's below too. And if you haven't signed up or want to create a new account on uh, Femix or Bybit, Femix has a uh, great bonus going on right now. Have a good one, guys. Goodbye.